there and we <laughs> hello yeah. and we are going to show you how we make him so so beautiful we're going to go through his whole grooming routine so that maybe you guys can groom your own dogs at home if you want to um, he really loves this method a lot more than having to go to the groomers and spend some money um, and this is just something that I've been doing with him for pretty much his entire life now so I hope that you guys enjoy this um, if you have a little dog you might want to try this yourself be very careful use the proper tools um, if you are a groomer I could probably definitely use some of your tips um, and I'm sure I will make a couple of you groomers cringe but that's okay because I'm happy with how my little doggy looks at the end of the day and he loves the process as well so continue watching and see his transformation so we're gonna get right into it we're gonna grab some shampoo and we're gonna give bear a bath you want to make sure that your dog is completely clean before clipping their hair um, I'm actually using a shower attachment here that hooks onto the tap of the bathtub and it's got a little hose and I think I got this at the dollar store it was really cheap so now I'm just checking the water I want to make sure that it's lukewarm and then I'm gonna grab him and plop him in the bathtub he really doesn't like having baths so he's being such a good boy right now he likes to just stand on the ledge and I get him nice and wet and make sure that the water covers all of his fur. He has really thick fur, so it's important to make sure that everything gets soaking wet. And then you're just going to apply the shampoo and rub that all over him, get him all lathered up. When you're done, make sure you rinse it out really well. And I like to just kind of squeegee out his arms and his legs or wherever the most water collects. And then I can lift him out and <laughs> wrap him up in a towel. And then we're just going to dry him off really quickly with a towel. And then his next not so favorite part is the blow dry session. So I just grab my normal hair dryer and I have it on the cool to warm setting. You don't want it hot, you don't want to burn him and you're just gonna blow dry the whole thing. And then this is his little uh, routine after he gets a bath. He likes to finish drying his face off on the carpet. And these are the tools that I'm going to be using. First we have a brush. This is actually the only brush that he will let me brush him with. Then I'm gonna be using the Andis ACG Dog Clippers. This actually has a different blade on it. Um, I purchased the blade separately. The blade is a 4FC, which is a 9.5 millimeter. It actually comes with a number 10 blade, which I just found way too short. I kind of like his hair a little bit longer. It leaves it about just under an inch long. Um, and then we're going to use some thinning shears that you see at the top and then I'm just using the scissors that come with the kit. And I will leave links for all of these below in the description box in case you guys um, want to check it out. I'm also using a large tooth comb because again this is the only comb that he will actually let me comb him with. So here we go. So I start by just brushing through his hair. You want to make sure also before you start clipping him that he is entirely dry. I'm just grabbing the clippers now and you want to make sure that you go with the hair, never against the hair. You always want to go in the direction the hair grows. So I just do this all over his body and I leave his head. I do not, I do, not do this on his head um, and I very sparingly do it on his legs. I do not do it on his tail. So here I am just doing his body. He just likes to sit there. It's better if they can stand, but I mean, he's just a lazy boy and he just likes to sit while I do this. So that works for me as well. I've learned to work around him. You want to make sure to get his belly underneath as well. You can actually just hold your dog up a little bit and get those pieces under there. And then we start on the head after we're done all of the clipping. I actually just use scissors for this part. What I'm doing here is just brushing forward the fur over his eyes and then making like a straight cut all the way across with the scissors. 
and then just cleaning that up a little bit and I trim the dirty bits out of his eyes and I just kind of make sure all those hairs around his eyes are not sticking into his eyes and then I take the thinning shears and the comb and I lift up the hair with the comb and I use those thinning shears just to trim it off and leave it all nice. The thinning shears are great for not getting that um, blunt edge cut with the scissors. So you can kind of erase any imperfections or any blunt edges with the thinning shears if you want to go over her afterwards. Now I'm going to do his, what I like to call his mustache. <laughs> I just grab the hair, kind of like I'm just giving him a regular people haircut, and I comb it forward and then I just trim it and I make sure that it goes all the way up to his ear area and then I do the same on the other side afterwards to make sure that it all matches you don't want to go too short you can always take off more if you need to but if you go too short then you're kind of screwed so start with a little bit and you can always just take off more if you need to And then I'm going to try to fix up his little muzzle a little bit. I kind of like the hairs to um, kind of stick out a little bit around his muzzle, so I'm just trimming those around his nose a little bit. And then getting the hair underneath his chin, making sure everything's even. And then we're gonna do the ears. Now this is the part that I absolutely hate doing because I can never get them perfect and it drives me a little bit crazy. Um, so right now I am just combing them out straight. You wanna be really careful when handling their ears or brushing their ears because it's really thin skin. So be very gentle. Um, I'm just combing them out and then I trimmed off about uh, half an inch just straight across and then I'm, I go through and sort of trim around the ear a little more. I don't know if that makes sense, but here I am combing the other ear. <clears throat> I comb it on the top and then on the underneath side, and then I make sure that I cut the same amount off on the other side as I just did so that they're even. And I think his ears were a little damp when I did this. That's why they're kind of flipping out a little bit. The, the hair is kind of flipping out a little bit. So normally I would like this to kind of curl under a little bit, but what can you do? Then I move on to his legs and his feet. So I'm just trimming the hair around his feet to make it all nice and more circular looking and not all floppy, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so I just trim that all with scissors and trim off all of the longer pieces. And then I grab his foot and I actually trim the hair around his pads. You can see here I'm doing it to his back feet, so I just carefully snip off all of the fur in between his toes and around his pads. Now onto the tail. I brush this out really well, and then all I do is feel for the end of the tail, and I trim off about an inch away from the tail. I just take a big chunk off. And then you can kind of fluff it up a little bit and trim off any excess. And that's pretty much how I do his tail. It's really simple. And then you can take a look at how he appears and see if you're happy with it. You can always use your scissors and go back and trim. You can see his ears here. I'm not too happy with them. They look kind of funny right now. Um, but they even out the next day when everything kind of falls back into place properly. And there is his cute, cute little face. He's no longer a big fluff ball. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.